Welcome back guys to another episode of Let's Play Starcraft 2 Legacy of the Void. In the last episode we helped Alarak complete the uh, Rakshir and the one, so now we got the support of the Taldorim. And uh, now we are in the current homeworld of the um, of the purifiers. And uh, we came here to ask for their help. Uh, the purifiers will probably get two missions. Alongside with the other Mobius mission, that's one, so we have three more. Also, the last three missions, so currently in the main campaign, we have six. And then we will have the epilogue. Uh, I know I haven't been putting out much, uh, much content, but the reason for that is that I was away this weekend and uh, I couldn't really record because... After I came back, I had uh, some graphics card problems. Yeah. Either way, let's. I suppose we should get started. The shield emitters on Indion must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyros. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. Okay, Zerg. I mean, Dark Archons for this are good, but uh, I'm actually going to do a few a few changes. I really hope, uh, or at least I really hope to actually be able to use Dark Archon for everything. But against Zerg, I mean. I mean, I could do, uh, instead of mind control, I can basically do confusion. But instead of centurions, I'm going with zealots. And Zerg strike with a lot of light units. We are the blades of iron. Uh, I'll see how it goes. If I need to do anything else. Hierarch, I've powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the solar core now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already know it. Either way. Ooh, Colossus! I completely forgot that I saw this. Hmm. Okay. Uh, either way, um... Colossus. Colossus are pretty good, especially against light units. Basically, that makes the Zella change I did right now not really that useful. But it is pretty useful. If uh, we don't get Colossus early. I mean, uh, Zealots are... Let's see, they don't cost gas, for once. And uh, they are three times cheaper in terms of minerals. Compared to the Colossi. So... But they only target one. But we have the Whirlwind ability. I don't know, I'll really need to see how this goes. I'll... In fact, uh, since uh, I've prolonged this campaign for too long, I'll probably try to rush it as fast as possible. Uh, if the enemy doesn't have anything that can actually see me, I'll just rush Dark Templars. Because to me that seems to be the most effective way, effective way to actually deal with Zerglings. Even though we have Colossus. Cyrus, the Bolt of the Purifiers. It is fortunate that Avon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi, steam cliffs, besieging enemies from afar. 
Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. Unlike you, Phoenix, they existed way... I don't know, uh, I mean, we are introduced to the purifiers right now. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. No. Thing is, um, we haven't been introduced to the purifiers till this expansion. I don't know if they were in the. Um, I don't really recall them. Well, they didn't exist in Brood War, that's for sure. But I don't remember if they were introduced by a light novel or. Or not. And finally, I can goddamn click on these buildings. Seriously. It was extremely annoying not being able to do it. Then give me an access. Well done. The area is secure. Warp coordinates for our nexus point are locked. Karax, activate the megalith. Authorization in progress. The megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. Is a is it a holdout mission or? The megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. Thank you. Okay, so there seems to be Zerg here. And escort Megalith to stasis locks. What do you mean? Wait, do I get it as a unit or something? Also, this is the only building that has no upgrades, so... As well... Dark Templar... Uh. Great, don't have Templar archives, Jesus. Okay, so this unit is powered up, as well as this one. This one isn't. You have not enough I need a forge. I'm missing a goddamn forge, seriously? The Megalith should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. Wait, 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 wait. Please don't tell me it's... You can't be serious, can you? Oh, God. It's one of these missions. Oh, I am going the to fake it. Is online. We must ensure it reaches the stasis locks safely. Doesn't seem like I'll have much of a problem with, I with invasions. 
I don't know. By the void. I'm actually kind of The megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. I'm actually extremely s You have not enough minerals. Seriously? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I have now. Either way, I still got uh, Dark Archons, and right now I don't regret it. I'm detecting Zerg movement. Warriors, ensure none reach our nexus point. Uh, where are they? Oh, they can see it. I am the blade of the Narazine. By the void. Seriously. The Megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. No kidding. And it seems there was a megalith broken here. But oh well, who cares? Actually, I'm gonna see if I can put two cannons here. I don't really know if I'll have a problem or something. Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the next one. Yeah, this will probably bite me in the ass, but oh well. Eh, okay. I bask in the twilight. So, Gatoom. That's the next megalith. I am the phantom. Got it. Well, that was done. We embrace the glory of battle. Yes, I believe you. Now to build this the west. All right, I can't build cannons. The Megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the Solarite components within. This is Alderim, so it's bombardment. I need that goddamn Templar archives. Jesus Christ. Also, one, two. Get back to work. Build another. And I really, really care about this. Did I use a normal one? No! Mistake. Also, I might as well get these. <sighs> Gateway, build Archons. One. 
You have not enough minerals. Well, that was disappointing. You require more Vespine gas. That was disappointing, but not the megalith's work is nearly complete. Not it will move again soon. Not too disappointing is what I wanted to say. Thank you. Oh, I could use some. You. Must well, that's done. I wonder. No, thank you. Left, right, left, right. Upper. Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The megalith is en route to the third lock now. The canyon grows narrow ahead. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. No idea what it is, and frankly, I don't care. Well, that was interesting. Parasite, in fact, it's the third parasite, creating vision of everything, blah blah blah. Well Snare done, and spawn brutally. The megalith is disabling the third lock. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Also, come I don't really know if I have to protect this, but I might as well be safe than sorry. The first power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. I'm pretty sure I just cheesed it. Did I? Did I? Yes, I kind of cheesed it. Either way. This mission doesn't seem to be like particularly on the heavy side. Might as well actually build a few gateways just to be safe. This lock is almost destabilized. The megalith will relocate shortly. I know you got Colossus, but I mean, I disappoint a lot of people by not using Colossus. That I know. You require more Vespine gas. 
gas. Upgrade complete. Should be fine, right? Yes, it is. The third lock has been disabled, and the megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. I am detecting a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. Seriously, it's considered frenzy. Well, that's done. A significant number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. Oh boy. Caves that. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Upgrade complete. Suppose I might as well use a solar lance Your here. Allies are in battle. I kind of like the voice of the executor because uh, it reminds me I of Aldaris. Wait, I don't have my dark archon. He died. Ah. Your allies are in battle. Ah, that's bullshit. Phase link authorized. The megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. Thank you. Okay, so G to everything, and to this one, I'm actually going to pick an energizer. Actually, two more. I'm going to actually send them. Uh, the reason for this is for one reason only. It's basically to give me some cover while where's this colossus going upgrade complete you know something go disable that thing i don't care you stay actually no it's up here I have 40 minutes, 40 seconds, right? That's done. Both power cores have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately. Okay, so fields W and oh stalkers. You must construct additional pylons. Damn you! I am here in the shadows. Well, they were energized for a little while. You can't win them all. Lock destabilization is nearly finished. The megalith will disembark soon. Sorry, then I'm getting another colossi. Okay, so what did I need it? All oh, right, prisms. I just get. It. I don't. I really don't get. It. I'll just build them. 
Because I'm actually sick of getting supply blocked. And I have a ton of money that I can use. So, yeah. Energizer, quickly. W, S, ah! I am here in the shadow. The good thing about this is that they all get the actual upgrades. The lock is down and the megalith is traveling. Stasis grid at 20%. Wait. I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. No kidding. There is an entire Zerg hive cluster between the megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. Deal. Uh, yeah, like so. I actually made that mistake. Intriguing. Attack speed is pretty nice. Is there any cave something? Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. Say. Well, this was a particularly short mission, I suppose. We move unseen. Escort five of five. Megalith must survive them. So, do I have any other parts or just this? The final lock is destabilizing, and the grid is down. We've done it. Cybros is free from stasis. Recall our forces from Endion's service. We take this battle to Cybros. Hmm. Uh, these two. I don't know. Units lost. Megalith damage taken. That's... New faction specialization available higher, probably for Colossus. And either way, I'll see what I, what we have. And then the la in the next episode, we will go to Cybers. But for now, cutscenes, cinematics, everything! Oh, joy! A new combat unit awaits factional assignment hierarchy. Eh, uh, Solar Core first. Cybros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage, resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylom is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose, like never before. And that is why the purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for themselves. Without freedom, a people can be controlled, but never united. This is true. And yet, the firstborn have ill need of another enemy. And I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. 
But now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. The way forward may be difficult, but it is necessary. Thank you, my friend. Really, at the end of times, we're going to start bickering. Either way, I'll skip the. I'll skip this for a little while. Uh, nothing new. I like this, but I can't. Oh well. Back. Your plan worked, Kerax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin to defend itself. And the purifiers? They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. Just adjusting, adjusting my headsets. Let's go to work council. No, yes. Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros's stasis field. And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kali, a contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Zerg had a lot of fun. We have received new robotic siege technology hierarch. Please make your selection. Yes, yes. Colossus, fire lights. Lock down, attack, set fire to the ground, damaging enemy units over time. That's nice. Yeah, they actually kind of do a little bit of a smiley face. Or they did. Oh well. Or oh, Reaver. Oh god, no. These guys, please don't. Oh god, the pain, the pain of brute war and Starcraft in general, please god no. These things are so f goddamn slow. Forget it, Colossus, say Colossus. The legendary Arbiter vessels have been reconstructed due to our great need. They can be deployed at your discretion. Yeah, Arbiter. Wait, Arbiter? We feel your presence. Logs places enemy units into stasis and teleports friendly units to this location. It's basically kind of the abilities of Mothership. But that stasis field, it's so broken. Also, this cloak field, it's amazing, but... Let's try it. Okay, so we have Zealot, Stalker, Dark Templar, Vanguard... Uh, okay, uh, Immortal... Sentry... Phoenix, it's missing, probably next... Dark Archon, getting Ascendant, Destroyer, Arbiter, and Colossus, getting Reaver. <sighs> I am never, ever... Going to use the Reaver. Ever! I hate those guys. And this is probably the carrier. Oh, to the bridge. Oh, there's a colo. They are quite big. Kind of funny though, they actually look like giant hydrolisks, metallic. Eh, you know. They're kind of. funny, cute, I don't know. But just. Interesting to actually see them walk. Either way, bridge. <laughs> I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, 
this foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. Was it so different when we gave your people freedom by breaking them away from Malash's grip? Only to deliver them to mine. I could not allow my people to be guided by Amon's lies any further. But make no mistake. They are not free. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix machine as in the purifiers and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. Huh. For some... this... I mean, they really excelled with the designer of Alarak, but it's clear that he's basically... Darth Vader <laughs> It's... it's uh, basically amazing, even after... Wait... Did it crash? Oh well. It's basically pretty clear, even the face. Um, well, I suppose I'll end the episode right here, and in the next episode we will go to the next mission. So, see ya!